out, guys. Look over there. There is lobster. Lobsters can survive on land for one to two days, as long as they stay in a moist environment. Lobsters breathe using gills that require moisture to absorb oxygen from the air. However, if their gills dry out, they will have difficulty breathing and eventually die. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus swam across the ocean using its strong and long tail. In some types of Mosasaurus, the tail itself can be more than half the size of the body and can be composed of 100 vertebrae. Mosasaurus swam by swinging their bodies to the right and left to propel them while in the water. This is Gurnard fish. Even though they are small and often targeted by larger predatory fish, this doesn't mean that Gurnard flying fish only eat algae or plankton. This fish is actually classified as a predator. Primarily, they will look for prey around coral or sandy seabed. The main food of the Gurnard flying fish is crustaceans, small fish, and various types of shellfish. There is a clownfish. Unlike most animal species, for clownfish looking after and caring for their young is not the mother's job, but the father's job. The main male not only fertilizes, but he even prepares a place for the female so she can lay her eggs safely. After that, the father will look after the eggs and clean the nest of dirt. This is Moth Bass. The large mouth base is dark olive green on the back with light green sides and a white belly. The top of the mouth extends past the eyes. The large mouth base has a similar appearance, but the upper jaw ends below the eye. Base eat a variety of foods. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crab are freshwater mollusks that have the ability to reproduce rapidly in suitable environments. They can reproduce both sexually and asexually. Sexual reproduction occurs when male and female snails mate and lay eggs, while asexual reproduction occurs through body fragmentation or division. This is Ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction, to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. Subscribe guys! Look what this is guys! Wow, this is catfish! Catfish have several ways to survive from predators, such as hiding in dark and muddy places, moving quickly to avoid attacks, and having a layer of mucus that makes it difficult for predators to catch them. They also often evade predators by digging holes in the bottom of the water and only emerging to search for food when it's safe. This is Turtle Guys! Turtles are known for having very long lifespans. Some species of turtles can live for more than 100 years. For example, the Galapagos tortoise and the Aldabra tortoise are known to live for over a century. Factors contributing to the long lifespan of turtles include their slow metabolism, natural protection from predators, thanks to their hard shells, and generally low activity levels. Wow, this is starfish! A unique fact about starfish is that the shield is a stiff shell that has a rough texture, even thorny, depending on the species. Starfish have a layer of calcium carbonate with tiny spines that deter fish, birds and even sea otters from attacking them. There is a puffer fish. This puffer fish is usually found in saltwater and freshwater waters such as the Amazon River and the Mekong River. Puffer fish are characterized by a long and tapered body, round head, prominent lips, and a large stomach. 
These puffer fish do not have scales, but some have spines. Wow, this is octopus! The largest octopuses in all the oceans are known to have no internal skeleton or shell. This is what makes octopuses have soft bodies and can help them move freely. The only hard part of an octopus's body is its beak. The octopus's beak is located at the bottom where the arms meet. Wow, this is koi fish guys! Although koi fish are generally brightly colored, certain color variations can help them blend into their environment, especially if the pond has a dark colored bottom or lots of aquatic plants. Koi fish have the ability to recognize danger and hide in safer places such as among aquatic plants, under rocks, or other pond structures. Koi often swim in groups, making it harder for predators to target individual fish. This is a shark! The life process of sharks begins when the mother shark lays eggs. These eggs hatch into baby sharks called pups. These pups will grow and develop either inside the mother's womb or in the ocean, depending on the species. After birth, sharks continue to grow and develop, feeding on various prey including small fish, squid, and even other sharks. Subscribe guys! Well, guys, look. This is squid. Squids have the extraordinary ability to change the color and pattern of their bodies. This is not only for the attractive appearance, but also as a form of communication with other squid. These color changes can include pattern shape, color intensity, and can even be used for camouflage. This is a dugong. Dugongs are often referred to as sea cows because of their heavy, sturdy-looking bodies. They are grayish-brown in color and range in length from 2.4 meters to 4 meters and adults weigh between 230 to 400 kilograms. They have short, paddle-like front flippers and a straight tail, which they use for locomotion through the water. This is a blue spotted ray. Some species of blue spotted rays have spiny protrusions on their dorsal surfaces, which can help protect them from predators by providing physical defense. Some ray species, including some blue spotted rays, can generate electricity to defend themselves from predators or even to catch prey. Blue spotted rays can swim swiftly to evade approaching predators. This is a garfish. Alligator fish are large fish with flexible armor consisting of ganoid scales. These scales contain a thin layer of ganoin and a bony body with serrated edges that provide effective protection against predators. Throughout history, this fish has also been a game fish for sport fishing and can also be kept as an aquarium fish. This is a moray eel. Moray eels also have mucus like other eels, in some types of moray, the mucus contains poison. Moray eels have thicker skin with high density. This is manta ray. Manta rays are included in the group of fish that are constantly moving. This means that mantas never stop swimming, and they have to keep moving in order to survive. The forward motion of swimming pushes water over gills which they use to take in oxygen. So when they are not swimming they are not getting any oxygen. Thank you for watching guys.